the incarnation, a fancy word we use this time of year. It means God became flesh or God became human. He became a man. A lot of people don't understand that that baby that Mary held was fully God and fully human. And what's more, a lot of people don't understand why that's important. Why did God have to become a human being and dwell with us in the flesh? So at New Hope Chapel for this Advent season, a few speakers will be joined with me to talk about this. We're going to talk about the essential incarnation. Why did God have to become human? What does this mean? What does it mean for me and you 2,000 years removed from this event? And when did God plan it out? Did he, was it a spur of the moment thing? Or did God plan it out from the very beginning of creation and give us clues all along? It's an important message. It's important for us as Christians who embrace Jesus as the Messiah. But it's important for the Jewish people because it's a message that is the fulfillment of many Jewish prophecies spanning back from the time of Genesis. It's also a message of hope for the entire world. We hope that you can join us at New Hope Chapel, but even if you can't, join us at ChristianityIsJewish.org. We'll have the messages up there. You can contribute to the discussions, and we'd love to hear from you on our Facebook page. We pray that the miracle of the Incarnation and the marvelous plan that God had from the very beginning warm your heart this Advent, Christmas, and Hanukkah season. Shalom.